Hello, uh, welcome to Face Morpher. This is a quick tutorial to show you how to use the program. Go ahead and launch it by typing the icon. Once the program opens, you have three choices. You can either view the tutorial like you're doing right now, you can take a new photo with your phone's camera, or you can open an existing photo. We'll go ahead and open up a photo from the, from the photo album, and then we'll put it into our morphing canvas. Okay, now for your picture to work correctly with Face Morpher, you need to make sure that you take the picture correctly. When you're taking a picture with your phone, try to get the top of the head as close to the top of the screen as you can, but leave a little bit of a gap. Also, leave some space to the left and the right hand side as well as the bottom. You don't want the face taking up the whole screen because then we can't make the face grow any bigger. So you want the face to take about half of the screen size, kind of like this. Think of it as taking a driver's license picture or a picture for a passport. Here, we have an option to use any of the four presets. We have this guy here, will give you a big fat head on the top. We have Mr. Conehead, which will give you very skinny top, kind of like a cone head. We also have this one. This one kind of give you like a little bit of mohawk, give you a kind of overall fish face, where your face kind of gets wide towards the middle. And then we also have Mr. Alien Head, which will give you kind of like an alien, funny ear type of lemming creature. But the coolest part of the program is by making your own face. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on the green morph button, which is right here. And this will overlay a grid over half of your face. Now this grid helps you in determining which part of the photo you're editing. So think of it as drawing the outline of your photo. So we'll go ahead and start. In this case, we'll go ahead and draw a big head of the top and then a small mouth. So we want big, so we go all the way to the right and start drawing wide. And then once we get towards the mouth, we're going to staper in at a slope angle and come all the way down. After you have the shape of the head, go ahead and click go on the top left hand side. And then it'll morph into whatever shape you just drew. So now we have big head with a little tiny mouth kind of. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and say, oh, I don't want the head that big, I want a smaller one. Well, you can just click on this and then we'll go ahead and draw again. This time we won't go so far. We'll start maybe here and then come like this and then go ahead and click go again and give you a different effect now let's say you want to draw the same face but this time let's say you wanted a big mouth how will you do a big mouth well you start here you go down and you want it to be the same width all the way down but now you want the mouth you're coming up to the mouth so you want to go up wide and then right about the mouth you go back in and then down you can see how the mouth starts in this green line here and right there. So that's where we started to bulge out. You want to have smooth lines. Smooth lines give you the best results. After you're done, you hit click go. And then we'll see what he has. So now we have Mr. Big Mouth there. To start over, you can do this. Now let's say you wanted to have a regular face, but let's say you wanted maybe a skinny, skinny nose. So you see the head starts right here on this line. So we want to keep the head the same size, but we just want the eyes kind of to, to get really close together. So we'll start right here, and then slowly as we get towards the eyes, we'll go ahead and come in a little bit, and then we'll come out, and then we'll keep the same width. That way the face will be overall the same, but the eyes will be squished in. And then we get this. So we have the eyes squished in. And you can think of any combination you would like to do if, let's say you want to have bulging eyes. Bulging eyes is a good one. So you can start, you want the eyes to bulge out, so we'll start here, let's say, and we'll keep the same all the way through, but when we get to the eyes, we'll go ahead and bulge out, and bulge back in, and bam, like that. We'll click on go, and now we have kind of like a shark head type of thing, so there we go, and that's it. So once you have that, then you can, if you want to save it, we're waiting for Palm to let developers use the built-in uh, saving for the phone, until then, we have to... Uh, Go ahead and use a screenshot to save. So to save, we'll go ahead and click Face More for the app menu, and then we'll click on Save, and then it'll give you a little explanation on how to do it. So you have the whole option Sim plus P. Uh, this is a, a built-in feature of the phone, letting you take a screenshot of anything on your phone. This is the only way we can save until Palm lets developers write into the phone's memory. As of now, uh, we can't really save any pictures directly. So they're promised that soon. So hopefully, an update or two will have that feature added. So we'll hit OK, we'll hit our option plus Sim plus P, and then we'll save. And you notice that we put a little cool Polaroid frame with a face more front so you can send it to your friends. 
And once you click, the more for frame will go away and then you can start over. You can go back to a preset if you like. Or you can click the green button and go ahead and draw whichever shape you like. Now notice when you st when you start drawing, you want to start drawing from the top down. Uh, you can't go from the bottom up, it messes things up. So go from the top down, smooth as you can. Draw your shape, and then click on go. And there you go. Easy as that. If you want to uh, email or SMS a picture to a friend, after you hold the option SIM plus P, the photo will show up under the screen captures folder off your phone. And then from there, you can go ahead and email or text it to somebody. Uh, you can also view the beauty tutorial from there. And also, we have a little explanation on how it works there. And here's the picture of how you save. It's option SIM plus P. And there's our email link. And I also included some samples of some of the funny faces you can use. Right, thank you so much. And thank you for purchasing the app. And I hope that you like it.